voluntary liquidation process regulations. We all know that the much-awaited Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court became law in 2016. Voluntary liquidation usually used to take a long time under the Companies Act. Many companies used to face lot of problems because of the old law, mainly the problem of loss of time in months and sometimes years for completing the voluntary liquidation process. This was the biggest problem which was being faced by companies going under voluntary liquidation. In a voluntary liquidation, it is obvious that the companies want to close the process in as less time as possible. The new bankruptcy code has solved this problem. The IBBI, which is the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, has notified the voluntary liquidation process regulations 2016 with effect from 1st April 2017. Yes, 1st April is Fool's Day, but from that day these regulations are effective. Now, these regulations will apply to voluntary liquidation of three kinds of entities. Firstly, the companies. Secondly, the limited liability partnership firms. And thirdly, any other legal person incorporated with limited liability. The contents of these regulations can be summarized into nine points for the objective of updates. We can do a separate video on the detailed explanation of the regulations. So, the nine things of these regulations which, have, which can be summarized are first thing this regulation talks about the requisite majority to initiate the voluntary liquidation process. Second thing is the provisions on how to appoint a liquidator and the remuneration. The third thing is the powers and the functions of the liquidators. The fourth thing is the manner and content of the public announcement relating to the voluntary liquidation. The fifth thing is how to receive and verify the claims of the various stakeholders during the process of voluntary liquidation. The sixth thing is reports and registers that have to be maintained and preserved and submitted by the liquidator. The seventh thing is the process of realization of assets and the distribution of the proceedings to the stakeholders during this voluntary liquidation process. The eighth thing is the distribution of the residual assets and the last and the ninth most obvious thing is the dissolution of the corporate legal entity. Hope this was very useful for you to understand the brief update on the voluntary liquidation regulations which came to effect from 1st of April. If you want any videos on specific topics, please feel free to ask in the comments below.